Welcome to our channel. In the annals of human history, there are few events as profound and as impactful as the partition of India and Pakistan. A moment that forever changed the course of two nations, setting them on a path of conflict and divergence, but also of shared history and intertwined destiny. This is a tale of division, of war, of unresolved issues, and of hope for a future of peace. Welcome to an exploration of the Indo-Pak Divide, where we delve deep into the past, scrutinize the present, and ponder about the future. Let's embark on this journey together in the pursuit of understanding and empathy. Have you ever wondered how one nation became two? How did India and Pakistan, once united, become divided? The answer lies in the tumultuous events of 1947, a year that saw the end of British colonial rule in India and the birth of two separate nations. The man charged with overseeing this transition was Lord Mountbatten, the last Viceroy of India. However, the process was far from smooth. Mountbatten, alongside Indian leaders Jawaharlal Nehru and Muhammad Ali Jinnah, was thrust into a whirlwind of political negotiations, cultural tensions and hasty decision-making. Crucial plans, like Plan Balkan, were approved in London without even consulting the Indian leaders. This rush led to chaos, confusion and ultimately catastrophe. In the wake of partition, the Indian subcontinent was plunged into violence and disorder. Millions lost their lives in the ensuing bloodshed, while an estimated 15 to 20 million people were uprooted from their homes, forced to migrate across the newly drawn border. And so, a line drawn on a map, a partition, resulted in one of the greatest human migrations in history. The partition of 1947 was not the end, but the beginning of a complex relationship between India and Pakistan. This momentous event was marked by an unprecedented level of violence and bloodshed as communal tensions erupted into riots, leading to the deaths of up to one million people. This period also saw one of the largest mass migrations in human history, with an estimated 15 million people crossing the newly drawn border in search of safety. The partition left a profound imprint on the psyche of the two nations. It fostered a sense of national identity, steeped in a shared history of struggle and survival. However, it also sowed seeds of mistrust and hostility which have often flared up into conflicts and strained diplomatic relations. The legacy of the partition is not just seen in the political landscape, but also deeply ingrained in the social and cultural fabric of both countries. The memories of the partition continue to influence the narratives and discourses surrounding national identity, religious differences and mutual relations. The echoes of the partition continue to reverberate in the relationship between India and Pakistan. The tension between India and Pakistan did not simmer down with time. Instead, it flared into full-blown wars. The first of these broke out in 1947, mere months after partition, when the princely state of Kashmir acceded to India, leading to a territorial dispute that remains unresolved to this day. The Second Indo-Pak War erupted in 1965, again over Kashmir. A 17-day war resulted in a ceasefire and the subsequent Tashkent Agreement, yet the status of Kashmir remained unchanged. The Third War in 1971 was different. It was sparked by the Bangladesh Liberation War, when East Pakistan sought independence with India's support. The outcome was the creation of Bangladesh as an independent nation. Lastly, the Kargil War of 1999, initiated by Pakistan's infiltration into Indian territories across the line of control in Kargil, ended with India regaining control over the infiltrated areas. These wars have left deep scars, not just physically but psychologically, shaping the narrative of animosity. The wars hardened the divide between India and Pakistan, making reconciliation seem more elusive. At the heart of the India-Pakistan divide lies the beautiful but contested region of Kashmir. Following the partition in 1947, both nations claimed this strategically located land, triggering a series of conflicts. This Himalayan territory, rich in culture and natural beauty, has been a battleground for decades, a place where India and Pakistan's rivalry has repeatedly turned violent. Historically, the region enjoyed a special status under Article 370 granting it certain autonomy. But in 2019, a bold move by the Indian government revoked this, 
stoking fresh tensions. This special law had provided exclusive rights to property and jobs for permanent residents and prohibited outsiders from settling or buying property in the region. Its revocation led to an outcry from Kashmiri groups and individuals who claimed that the move was unconstitutional. The Indian government's decision triggered a new chapter of unrest and resistance, with residents claiming that the move was aimed at changing the region's demography and denying them their historical rights. Despite this, the Indian government argues that normalcy has returned to the region, with a decrease in armed rebellion and stone-pelting incidents. Kashmir remains a flashpoint in the India-Pakistan relationship, a symbol of their unresolved past and uncertain future. As we navigate the present, the past continues to cast a long shadow over India-Pakistan relations. The echoes of partition still reverberate, influencing the dynamics between these two nations. Today, we grapple with a myriad of issues that keep the divide alive, from cross-border terrorism to nuclear brinkmanship and diplomatic standoffs. Yet, amidst these challenges, there exists a glimmer of hope. A hope that stems from shared cultural roots, from the syncretic traditions that still thrive in pockets, and from the common love for cricket. This hope is fueled by the yearning of common people on both sides of the border, longing for peace and prosperity. The road to reconciliation is steep and fraught with challenges. It would require courage, mutual respect, and a willingness to address historical grievances. It would require moving beyond the politics of the past and focusing on a future that promises mutual growth and stability. Yet the question remains, can these two nations, born from the same womb, transcend their tumultuous past and chart a new course? Can they transform the narrative of hostility into one of peaceful coexistence? India and Pakistan, born from the same womb, remain locked in a complex dance of history, hostility and hope. As we conclude this journey, it's important to remember that history is not just about the past, but also about the present and the future. The India-Pakistan divide is a complex and multifaceted issue. It's not just a political boundary, but a deep-seated divide that has affected millions of lives across generations. Yet, at its core, it's a story of shared history, divergent paths and intertwined destinies. We share a common heritage, a common language and common cultural traditions. Despite the political divide, people on both sides of the border continue to share a deep bond of shared history and culture. The story of India and Pakistan is also a reminder of the power of empathy, understanding and dialogue in bridging divides. It's about recognizing our shared humanity and understanding that despite our differences, we are all fundamentally the same. It's about learning from our past, understanding our present and working towards a future where peace and harmony prevail. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue to learn, understand and grow together. As we move forward, let us remember the lessons of our past and use them to guide our future. Let us remember that despite our differences, we are all part of the same human family. Let us strive for peace, understanding and mutual respect.